live in Chicago, just a few blocks south of Wrigley Field. Kind of up and coming neighborhood, a lot of hustle and bustle and a lot going on. I bought it in 2014, so it took me a while to find this place. It really had the bones of what I was looking for. The space is great, but you're kind of cookie cutter, developer grade everything. The original developer paint, the original developer light fixtures. So there definitely were things that I wanted to do with it. I was moving to Chicago from San Francisco where I was just in this tiny little uh, apartment. When I moved to Chicago, you know, I wanted to step up my game a little bit. I wanted to have a professional come in and give it a professional look. I've had the pleasure to work with two incredible bachelors, two distinctly different projects, um, with um, two distinctly different personalities. The bachelor client today has recognized good design and is becoming more educated and wants to live in an environment where design looks like you're successful, you're organized, and cohesive. I had been doing everything on my own for three years, and I got to the point where I realized, first of all, I'm not qualified to do all this. <laughs> I had been reaching out to friends every time I bought something with three or five different options of you know, a bar that I wanted. What was really nice about Dustin was he was very open to anything because I think he was at the point where he knew that he had bought some cool things, but now he didn't know where to go with it. I wanted to keep my reclaimed wood and steel coffee table, my concrete dining table, um, the bar. It's a large bar, but it's a unique piece that I really like. And I also have a classic arcade game. I enjoy it and I think it's fun, and so uh, I wanted that to be worked in. I really wanted something that was a, a unique space. And Anthony said to me, I'm picturing a, a gentleman's lounge, a moody you know, cigar bar, gentleman's lounge, and, and that made sense to me and I hadn't really thought about it. So one of the things here is we did a lot of paint treatments here because paint is going to give you the most impact, you know, for change. So adding the stripes, adding the drama, you know, the, the high the contrast of black and white. By giving this a horizontal look, what you do is you actually stretch the room and you're allowing the mind to believe that the room is actually a little bit shorter but wider. When Anthony met with me, he said, well, this is your wow factor. Not a lot of places have a foyer. Not a lot of places have this type of space to really set the mood for the rest of your home. He just got this idea to use my existing console table, which is a, um, you know, kind of a wood-looking console table that I had seen on house and thought of creating a custom glass top. Adding lighting below that, it really made a statement. The art is actually mushroom caps. So in keeping with the organic nature of the, the tree root, which is the actual base of the council, I thought it might be interesting to incorporate the mushroom caps um, kind of climbing up the wall and a more random approach. The master bedroom, we've got a copper bed that I bought before Anthony came on to help me and great copper lamps, copper and black art. The photo wall in that area is really just closet space. Those are closet doors. I wanted to show things that were like milestones in his life or trips, uh, you know, friends, maybe even some college things, things like that. Those frames were only a few dollars each. Having a picture printed is only a dollar or so each. So that's something that we did that was really cost effective. As we were working and Anthony's team was putting the designs together, he used the house idea books to send over, you know, kind of room by room design. It enabled kind of real time sharing and collaboration. I think that his personality showed through his house idea book and with those elements between the idea book and between the initial meeting, I think we arrived at this. He really understood what I was going for, and I really didn't. I had pieces that I liked, but I didn't have a, an overall theme or the ability to tie that together. I find it fun to work with things like the Pac-Man machine, the Diver Dan bar, the tree root that he had in there. Dustin's face, we had things to work with. At um, Andrew's face, we had nothing. My approach there was completely different. When I first walked in, the uh, the place had a very pristine look to it. Lots of whites, which is nice, but it just wasn't me. But it also had just everything in the neighborhood I was looking for. It was really close to an L stop, really close to a really fun street where you could walk, with lots of restaurants and bars and cool little shops. My military background is a big part of my identity, and so I wanted a style that would be able to incorporate a lot of the elements from that period of my life. So I was looking for a more rustic, kind of masculine look. 
In his house idea book, he had put elements like a Chesterfield sofa, which is very classic, very gentlemanly. There was a rug. But he also had a few mid-century modern pieces. You know, that kind of gave me a good springboard. The thing that jumped out to me about Anthony was he immediately had a very bold vision for what he would want to do with the place. I didn't want a designer who would just play it safe. I wanted a bold vision. I wanted someone who would take risks and, you know, have some flair to the place. I said, I want to do all the trimming doors in black. But then I want to reverse it in the lower level and go all black on the walls and white crisp trim. And he was like, well, I've gone with you this far. I might as well go with the program. And you know, when the painting was done and everything, he was like, oh my god, what a difference. The living room, um, I feel, is an updated traditional living room in the sense that we have the Chesterfield sofa in distressed leather, so it feels very warm, very cozy, very inviting. A pair of interesting wing chairs flanking the fireplace, and then above the fireplace, the engine molds. You don't really know what they are or anything like that, so it's a great conversation piece. Anthony wanted to incorporate a lot of three-dimensional aspects to the design. The machinery, as well as these really large uh, boxing images, those boxers are on like a metal sheet, right? So it's not a, a painting. At first he was like, I don't know about that. So I said, you gotta trust me, they're monumental. They're, they're gonna anchor the whole room. I said, they're gonna fit the space perfectly. I wasn't able to fully appreciate what that would do to my place until it was here and installed. But it was a great example of how I trusted the vision of the designer. I have a lot of items from my military service, whether it's um, you know, the saber from West Point, images from my service, things like that, and I really wanted to bring those out in the design. So in the master bedroom, there's a great image from my deployment. It's actually my platoon uh, of artillery. Anthony was able to blow it up. It actually looks better as kind of this grainy black and white image, uh, and it's one of my favorite things in the design. For the master bedroom, he wanted to go really dark with it, which was something that, you know, at first I was a little skeptical about, but it just has this very calm feel to the bedroom. He had a few surprises for me uh, that he was really proud of. I love the stars above the windows. He didn't tell me about it, he just kind of did it. We had an unusual little space that was right outside the powder room. I was looking at House Marketplace. I came across a bench, this really cool map of London, and really nice rugs, and they were great because they shipped really quick, really fit the space nicely. So the media room, I, you know, I wanted a place where you could just relax and watch a movie, play some card games. We have a really deep sofa down there with chaise lounge. We have, you know, really nice uh, seat tables so that you can, you know, work on your laptop. We have some enlarged paintings that are so cool. They're actually made with playing cards. If you were to look closely at them, it's all cut up playing cards. Then we have another wall because he's a sports fan. And we did all black and white classic sports moments for the Chicago Bears. So that was really cool. Then we have his vanity wall, which is behind there. And there's a fabulous weathered uh, metal uh, cabinet. Then all the awards and everything. I have different uh, uniform items that Anthony was also able to incorporate. Uh, different head coverings from my uniforms, the parade hat, things like that. So it really came out really beautiful. So very happy with that. I was envisioning a place that would inspire me, a place where I could come home after a long day of work and just uh, feel proud of where I live and a place that would be relaxing. It's well worth the money when you get a vision that's delivered like what Anthony delivered here for me. When you live in a cohesive environment and things are well put together, you actually have a sense of calm, you actually have a sense of order, and you also actually have a sense of, of confidence.